What's going on, bikers? Tim from Tim's Garage, and I'm back to you today to talk about another motorcycle accessory. I was actually at the Handbuilt Motorcycle Show in Austin, Texas, not too long ago, and I stopped by the Peak Design booth where they had a bunch of really cool bags and other stuff, but they were also talking about their really cool new phone mounts that they have for motorcycles. Now, some of you guys may know that I already have this quad lock mount um, that also has a phone case that it fits into. And these guys swore to me that their mount is far superior. They use a magnetic clip-in technology that is supposed to allow for a little bit more easy access. They also claim that their built-in dampener into their mount here is supposed to be better than the bulky one that you can see here, the bulky quad lock one. You can see it here. Uh, and it's supposed to offer a little more stability so that way the phone isn't shaking all over the place, which I have noticed with the quad lock. So I'm going to get these unboxed and get them mounted up um, just to show you what I do have. I have the mount. I have the sticky pad that goes on the back of a phone. And then I've just picked up a uh, an OtterBox case for my phone to use for this purpose. And the reason is, is because I have a Google Pixel 4 that I'm actually recording this video on and they don't make a case for a Google Pixel 4. They do make one for a Google Pixel 6 right now. So if I get an upgrade uh, on my phone, I'll go pick up the exact case that goes with this. But for now, I've got the sticky mount, which I'll put on the back of this, and then this will attach to that. So I'm gonna get the parts out and then get these swapped in to the bike uh, and kind of see the difference here. Uh, so this is your before with the quad lock. You can kind of see how it looks. And then I'll give you an after once I get everything mounted up. All right, so here's what we got. We've got our little super sticky mount. We got our new case. And then they also gave you this little adapter uh, thing, this little measurement tool that allows you to get a perfect fit on your phone so it's perfectly centered using the little tick marks. Uh, and so you can get it centered all up before you stick it on so you got the thing right in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all lined up here and then peel this guy off. Well, actually first, of course, use the alcohol swab to clean it, peel that guy off, and then stick it on. So we'll see what that looks like. All right, I got my sticky all applied. Looks good. They say that you should let this sit for 24 hours before you start to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But my question is, once I actually get my phone in here, if I set this down on a charging pad, will it still do the proximity charging? I'm hoping that it does. That way I can still use this case just every day. Um, but good news is this is kind of a cheaper outer box case. I got this for, I don't know, $9 on Amazon. So not a huge deal if it doesn't. But for comparison, let me go in my bin, show you guys the ins and outs, the behind the scenes of Tim's garage here. Here is my quad lock case with its built-in lock. So you can see they're actually very similar. I mean, obviously they are because it's for the same phone. If I flip them over, you can kind of see the deal here. Quad lock has that built-in lock and the case is actually super low profile. So I do really like this. That was one of the things that I was a huge fan of was the slim line ability for that to click right in. And you can see this is also thin because it's just literally just the case and uh, just the uh, just the sticky. So let's hold these two up and get a little look here and see as far as thickness goes. So overall, gosh, they look to be about the same. So not much difference, difference in thickness. I do think having the actual case for the phone made uh, by these guys will be so much better to have than just the sticky thing on here. But I think this will work for now until I get a phone that works with the cases that they have. Now, Quadlock does make a bunch of different cases. They had one for the Google Pixel 4 and all the other ones. Uh, these guys are getting obviously caught up to that phone usage. But, you know, this sticky thing should hopefully work for now. So let that dry. And then we'll move on to mounting up the mount next. So first comparison here is the quad lock is all plastic, but that's okay, it's a sturdy plastic. Obviously this dampener is gigantic. The Peak Design one is all metal. This is all a metal clamp. It's really clean design. I like how they have the two pieces of rubber there to clamp around the bar. The, uh, the actual mount here is metal, and then of course the powerful magnet. And then you can see there, the lower profile dampeners, you can see me move it like that. Uh, so it's not quite as bulky. Um, as far as thickness goes at the end of the day, 
Yeah, the quad lock is still much, much thicker. Now, first things first here, looking at my handlebar, I had actually moved my, uh, my clutch lever here slightly away from the top of the riser to allow space for that quad lock. And with the quad lock, I was able to just drop this in here, boom, and then get the screw around. So first thing I notice is that these guys should fit around here, but it's bumping up against uh, the lever here. So I'm going to have to actually loosen this to get this in place and then move that back because this is actually a little bit thicker and wider, which clearly is also going to offer more uh, stability on the bar but I'm gonna to have to move this out of the way real quick so I can be able to slide this in. So I'm gonna do that next. So the only way I could actually get this in place is I had to completely just remove the clutch lever, no big deal. Just two, two screws comes back out and now I'm gonna put it back in place and hopefully I still got a good alignment there. All right, lever's back installed uh, and clearance and everything seems to be fine. It might be like, gosh, a few millimeters further over than the quad lock. And you can see here there's this gap and I wanted to push this all the way up just to see, but I couldn't. And part of the reason is if you can see here uh, on the lever here on my Thruxton, you've got this angled piece of metal here that acts as kind of stability for the cable and all that. And that is actually hitting the edge of the new mount here and it's preventing it from actually touching there. But that's okay, I think we're good. I'm not super worried about it. Uh, everything's tightened down and in place. So now we're gonna figure out where we mount the phone itself and how this is going to look once it's actually in place. So I've got the case mounted in place and what's cool is that you've got really three ways to pivot this, right? You can pivot it up and down on the bar on this axis and then you can move the arm itself this way like this and then you can actually move and twist the, the phone for its positioning on how you want it as well. So it has multiple pivot points. So you gotta find which one works best for you. Um, I'm thinking, so if you have it like this, it's kinda, it's, good, it's kinda far out there. I like to bring it down like a little bit, maybe to like, maybe not quite there, something like that, and then pivot the phone, maybe to something like that. You have to think about like when you're actually on the bike, if it's aligning, and what you'll be able to see. And this is like my point of view when I'm riding the bike. Now, one thing to check too is you pull the handlebar back, check your clearance, and I've got all kinds of room there. And it looks like this is in pretty good position. So this might be where I actually am gonna want to have it. And just so you guys can see how the bracket actually goes above the top of my clip on there and kind of hovers over it. And again, this will be like nice and tight. So it shouldn't be wiggling all that much. I think this is a pretty good spot. One other thing to check is I have a power cable that I installed on my bike and I can loop around and connect that right there. So we're still good on the reach there as well. So let me get this tightened down and I'll see how it looks. All right, so there you have it. I've got the mount all mounted up, looking clean. I like the profile view. It, it is a really clean design, I like it. it. The quad lock was also super, super clean until you added that really bulky dampener. Then it made it just like so much bigger than it was before, and I get it, you gotta have the dampener because otherwise it wrecks the phone, but it wasn't something that quad lock originally accounted for where these guys did, and that's where they built that dampener in there. And so just for reference, you can kind of see here, see I can, twist this and wiggle this it goes back and forth this way like this and they said that it's not quite as much of a jiggle and a little bit smoother experience when you're looking at your phone uh, versus on the quad lock when you're riding now you should never be like looking at your phone while you're riding but i like to look at my map and when it's jiggling all over the place sometimes it's hard to see when you're navving so this is a little bit better now i'll show you guys how it works i got my case and literally boom it just snaps in place, which is actually much easier than the quad lock. I can actually just kind of set this here and the magnet starts to pull it like right, right there. It starts to pull it out of my hand and it like naturally locks it right in place. And so once the magnet pulls in, that thing, it's not coming off. It's stuck on there. And the way that you take it off is you just use your thumb here on this side and your middle finger on this side and there's two buttons, comes right off. So there's the buttons right here. 
You can see those going in. So there's one on each side. And so it locks in place under that lip, but it just goes right on. The quad lock, you have to push the lever, lever and then twist, and it's pretty easy. But sometimes you're sitting there like trying to find the notches to twist the quad lock in. So I would say that this is much easier to get on and off. The question for me is, is how good is the sticker gonna be? So the next step is to do a road test and uh, we'll see how that goes. All right, guys. So here we are doing the road test for the new mount and let's see if I can get the camera adjusted slightly. There we go. All right, so we're doing the road test for the new mount. And it looks like to me that it doesn't shake quite as much as the quad lock dampener, which is good. It still has quite a bit of flexibility though. You can see how I'm moving it like this. Um, so I'd imagine on bumpy roads that it's gonna be pretty bumpy. But uh, so far on smooth roads, I haven't noticed a big difference or anything like that. And the case setup seems to be sticking quite well. So no major issues there, but I think I kind of like it. It's definitely a little sleeker. Uh, one thing that I noticed, and I'm actually riding with my buddy today, is that uh, the, his quad lock setup, he has the little charger that goes with it, uh, the proximity charger. So you actually plug the phone and it starts charging. I still have my cable, which is what I was using before. So I'm not sure if these guys are gonna come out with a uh, proximity charger or anything like that. But I can tell you that I did take the phone in its current setup and I did set it on my proximity charger near my bed. And it did work even with that big magnet now stuck to the back of this uh, OtterBox case that I bought. So, so far, so good. All right, now I'm doing a little freeway speed and it still seems to be doing pretty good. A little jiggly, but not bad. All right, guys, so to give my final review of this mount, I'd say I like it. You know, it, uh, I'd say it's actually just about as bouncy as the quad lock. Not any more or any less, really. Um, but overall, I do like the sleekness. I think it's a cool design. Um, you know, maybe it's a little sturdier because it's metal and stuff here, but uh, overall, I'd say it's a pretty, pretty cool mount. I do like how easy it is just to snap the phone on and off. You can see right there on, locked in place, two fingers, pop it off. It's a little easier than trying to find that sweet spot for the quad lock, so I do like that a lot. Um, the magnet's pretty nice, being able to use this whatever phone case with the sticky's nice. Um, we'll still probably pick up a uh, case that actually fits my phone when I possibly get a new one and they make one for a, a newer version But this works pretty well. So this is held up. I went for about a hundred mile ride today. No issues whatsoever We're gonna call the phone mount project done